played for the New England Mutiny team, and they had two teams um, in two different leagues. One team train uh, like played in the Elite League, and the other played in the WPSL League. So I trained a lot with the Elite team, but I played a lot of games with the WPSL team. And Aaron and I played in the WPSL. Yeah. So the New England Mutiny, a lot of the players, I mean, like I said, were from kind of all over. But we played at in Worcester. We trained a lot in Worcester, and we did have a lot of home games at um, AIC, which is a college in Springfield. So for me, being from Mass and living in Ludlow, it was really it was convenient to be able to play near home. My club team is the Aztecs, and I played with them since um, when I was younger until now. And my coach for my summer team has been my coach since I was like eight years old. I kind of told Kaz about it, and last year Amelia played on my team as well. Our home field was based in North Redden. Yeah. And then right we trained. We trained from Pingree High School, which is right outside of Boston. I think it's really important, like playing w WPSL or the WPSL elite teams. Um, it's like the best girls in the country, like top top soccer players, um, D1, and I just think it's a lot of it's a good experience and. It, it prepared me well for preseason and coming in for the new year. Competing against very talented players around the country and from, you know, um, I met a lot of girls that went to UConn, U Miami, just schools all over the country, and it was just really cool to kind of connect with them at that level, but also compete against them and play with them. I normally go back home to England, so when I come in for preseason, I struggle with the heat and the humidity. Um, but being here, you know, I got 12, 13 games under my belt, which definitely prepared me for preseason. I was really excited to be able to see these two this summer, and playing at a competitive level um, made it that much more fun and enjoyable. Um, unfortunately, I was on the short end of the stick. My team lost in overtime, but um, it was great to play against them, and it made me that much more excited to come in just back to school and get into the swing of things. It was funny because Kaylin plays forward, obviously, and I'm in net, so we always had a bunch of one-on-ones, me and her, and it was funny because in practice we always kind of joke around and stuff, and this was like a real actual game, and it was just funny because we had, after, like, if I stopped something, like, like one time we collided and we turned around and we just started laughing. So, so. Yeah, I think we all know what Kate's capable of, so I just <laughs> told the defense to stay, to stay tight on her and... Don't want to do any of the tricky runs, and she got through a couple of times. But Erin knows what she's all about, so she managed to get around to me. Well, yeah. I'll give them a two cup. I congratulate them. If it wasn't me, I couldn't have been happier that it was these two that got the chance to go down there. So nothing but good things. I'm on camera. That's why I'm trying to be polite. No, but seriously, you know, like it's competitive. So I, I think with my team, like we were, we, we really wanted to beat them. For many reasons, one because it was for to go to the next round, but it was for me it was a little more personal. But <laughs> it's alright, it's mm -hmm. fine. Um, but no, I mean if it wasn't me, I'm glad these two could go down there and bring that back. It's a great opportunity for them, so I congratulate them. Thanks. <laughs> Our team did really well, and we made it pretty far. Um, but also, like Kate said, all my best friends since I was like younger on my club team and stuff. All come back and it's it's good because we all go to different colleges so to come back and play together every summer it's been so much fun I love it oh, for me it was a once in a lifetime I mean I this is probably the last summer that I'll stay and play um, the host family that I was with were amazing and we made it to, to the final four down in Florida um, we eventually got beat in the final but it was awesome. the people that I met and the people that I played for, with I've known a lot of them for a few years and it was just a great group of girls and I had so much fun and I think I learned a lot and it just, like I said before, it really prepared me to come back to Hartford and kind of get ready to go.